Neil Armstrong, the first human on the moon. Neil Alden Armstrong was born on August 5, 1930, in Wapakoneta, Ohio, and developed a passion for aviation as a child, earning his pilot's license at 16, before H.E. could drive a car. He studied aeronautical engineering at Purdue University under a Navy scholarship but interrupted his education to serve as a naval aviator during the Korean War, flying 78 combat missions and earning three air medals. After the war, he returned to Purdue, graduated in 1955, and became a test pilot for NASA's predecessor, NACA, where he flew cutting-edge aircraft like the X-15 rocket plane. Selected for NASA's astronaut program in 1962, Armstrong made his first space flight as commander of Gemini 8 in 1966, achieving the first successful docking of two spacecraft in orbit. The mission nearly ended in disaster when a thruster malfunction caused uncontrolled spinning, but Armstrong's calm under pressure saved the crew. This performance solidified his reputation as a skilled pilot and leader, paving the way for his role in the Apollo program. As commander of Apollo 11 in 1969, Armstrong, alongside Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, embarked on humanity's first lunar landing mission. On July 20, he manually piloted the lunar module Eagle to a safe landing with only seconds of fuel remaining, announcing, the Eagle has landed. At 10.56 p.m. EDT, he became the first person to step onto the moon, declaring, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind a moment watched by over 530 million people worldwide. After Apollo 11, Armstrong shunned fame, resigning from NASA in 1971 to teach aerospace engineering at the University of Cincinnati. He later served on investigative panels, including the Challenger Disaster Commission, and advocated for space exploration, though he criticized cuts to NASA's budget. Despite his historic achievement, he remained humble, stating, I just don't deserve the fame. Despite his public achievements, Armstrong valued privacy in his personal life. He was married twice and had three children. Armstrong died on August 25, 2012, from complications following heart surgery. His legacy endures through awards like the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, as well as tributes such as the renaming of NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center in his honor. Remembered as a reluctant hero, his words and deeds continue to inspire exploration and unity, symbolizing humanity's boundless potential.